Hi everyone, it's RSA Week. I am here with Patrick Sullivan. We're in San Francisco and we had a pretty exciting announcement this week. We launched a new product called Brand Protector. And I, I guess, Patrick, what does Brand Protector solve? I know it's meant to address the problem of brand impersonation, but what exactly is that? Yeah, it's, it's helping to identify uh, inauthentic uh, websites and apps that are uh, impersonating your brand. Uh, so some of the common use cases, uh, obviously phishing of customers for their credentials, that's a big one. We see fake stores, uh, and then we see all kinds of other uh, really kind of interesting uh, businesses sprouting up, uh, you know, taking advantage of legitimate brands. So you mentioned um, fake sites. So it sounds like this is a big retail play. Are there other industries where this, you know, is a, a pretty big problem? For sure. So anything where there is, uh, you know, an account takeover opportunity, this is sort of preceding some of those other trends we've seen with bots and other things where you want to take over an account. If you can get uh, people to to give you their credentials to a site that cuts out a lot of the work, then you just pop right through. So we've seen that. We've seen uh, fake storefronts, and then we've seen a lot of things that are really just weird, right? Like uh, in travel and hospitality, we see sort of uh, dodgy travel agencies kind of mm. standing up and trying to get you to call them, and then they'll place an order on your behalf, and and they will give you your tickets. So it's not a complete ripoff, but maybe it's not the customer experience that the brand would want. So. Uh, we've seen a lot of interesting things and I'm sure we're going to continue to see even more things uh, as we go. It's, it's really interesting space. So, I mean, is it, it sounds like it's been a problem for a while. Is it really accelerating or, you know, why, why is Akamai kind of getting into this space to help tackle this particular problem? Like how pervasive is this? Yeah, I think we've seen it. Uh, you're right. It has been around uh, for some time. I think we're seeing uh, both an increase in the, yeah. the volume. So as we talk to customers, they're seeing these things pop up and they're, the sites are coming up faster and faster. Um, so it's just, more of a burden to deal with it. Uh, and then I think as we see the, the monetization of account takeover continue to grow, it's just one more way to, uh, for fraudsters to, to avail themselves of uh, opportunities to take over some of these accounts. We've seen that piece as well. Um, I guess when I think about the fake sites, is this would this also include sort of unauthorized re, uh, like retail storefronts or kind of, I guess, more specific to commerce? You know, what are some of the other problems that a retailer might be wanting to tackle with this? Yeah, absolutely. So I think it starts with customer phishing. You know, that's okay. one where I think you will hear about it first because customers will, uh, you know, be the victim of fraud and then they'll call up. Uh, you know, maybe some things that, that you would find after that would be inauthentic apps. You know, we see that. And, and uh, you know, these days uh, the, the social media space is more interesting than it used to be. So uh, it's a bigger risk for a business that somebody would impersonate them on social. So there's there continues to be uh, many, many permutations uh, around that, but it seems to start with sort of customer phishing is probably most frequent, uh, one that at least you'd be aware of without looking. Okay, and I guess just specific to Akamai, knowing that this is a problem that's been around, what is Akamai really bringing to the table to really help this problem or, or reduce that risk? Yeah, so I think our detections, uh, number one, uh, we're, we're looking kind of in different places, uh, and I would say that we find things faster, right? So as these sites keep coming up, Faster and faster, it's important that you're able to find them uh, mm -hmm. at speed. Uh, so that's, I think, an area that the visibility advantage that we have, you know, seeing so much of the world's traffic, seeing DNS, uh, those are advantages we have. And then also, uh, by the nature of some of the detections that we have, we can also provide insight into uh, who might have been victimized by that site, uh, where they are in the world. So it's not just, you know, hey, there was a site out here, we can give some insight into uh, how many people fell victim to that and, and maybe help identify them. So, I mean, it, it, you bring up a good point. It sounds like a sort of a game of whack-a-mole or, you know, pulling weeds or a game of cat and mouse. Like, what advice do you have for someone who's looking to, you know, reduce their risk or to, you know, kind of stay on top of this this problem? Yeah, I think any, anywhere in security where you've got evasion and you've got a strong profit motive uh, for an attacker, you're going to see that. Uh, so, so I think the key is, uh, you know, uh, cast your detection net as widely as you can, uh, and then it's important to have speed and automation. Uh, you know, as, as you take them down, you know, somebody will stand them up faster. So uh, automate that process uh, of detection all the way through to site takedown. Okay, well, thank you for your time. If you'd like to learn more about Akamai's brand protector solution, you can visit akamai.com.